to my friend Dawn. I just wanted to say happy birthday, and I love Aww. you so much. Happy birthday, Dawn. Have a beautiful day. I hope you're watching. Welcome to another episode of Conscious Straight Talk with Katie and Lindsay. Yes. Hi, my name is Katie Hutchinson, and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist, and I'm also a certified mediator, and we're so happy that you guys are here today on hump day, Wednesday, the 20th, whatever else. Oh, is today 420? Isn't it? It is. 420? You're right. Wednesday, 420. 420. What does that mean? <laughs> Isn't that what the smoking pot? Well, whatever? that means that we have the perfect episode for today. Actually, exactly. As a of fact. Exactly. <laughs> I'm Lindsay Kearns. I'm the mama behind MalibuMamaLoves.com, and I'm also a certified conscious trauma-informed life coach. Okay, so have you heard of Suzerp, <laughs> or have you heard of Dirty Sprite, or have you heard of Purple Dank? Oh my, do you mean lean? I do mean lean. What Did is you? lean? So lean is... Um, okay, so lean is a combination of codeine and promethazine. I'm probably saying promethazine incorrectly, but I'm trying to say it. Promethazine and codeine plus um, soda and then either hard candy or gummy worms. Oh, my. And so the, this sounds like this is the new drug that the kids are trying out. This is a very popular drug right now. It's been made very popular by NFL stars and the rappers. And okay. so the teens are getting into it. We're having teen, teen lean parties. parties. Teen, teen lean, lean parties. parties. Oh my teen gosh. Lean parties. I remember back in the day they would do, um, everyone would bring their parents pills, like grab a couple out of the cabinet and throw it into a, a bowl in the middle and everyone would just pick one out. And I couldn't stress enough to my then at the time teenagers, my older boys, uh -huh. how dangerous that would be. You have no idea what could happen. Mm -hmm. And so when you brought up lean, because I hadn't heard about it until mm -hmm. you talked about it, which apparently it's like a whole epidemic right now. Mm -hmm. The kids are all trying it because it's so easy to get your hands on. Mm -hmm. um, what actually happens when you take this stuff? Um, okay, so you become very euphoric. It's, it's, it's an opiate. So yeah. it's just, it's in the heroin family. How long does it family. take to kick in? So it takes about 30 minutes to kick in, and it lasts about six hours, which is a long time. Wow. So these kids are going to these parties. It takes them about 30, 30 minutes, minutes, and then for six hours, six they're, hours, like they're partying. Zone. Yeah, I mean, it's better than meth. Meth lasts longer than that. Um, but it's not, I shouldn't say it's better than meth. I'm just saying it doesn't last as long. So it relieves a lot of pain. So it relieves a lot of pain. So when it goes into your body, the codeine and the promethazine, promethazine, yeah. Meth um, it goes down into your liver, and when it goes to your liver, it turns into morphine. And morphine, yeah. as most it of us rid know, of pain. gets rid of pain, and that's what we use to help people. So, I mean, aside from the morphine, it doesn't sound that bad if it's relieving all this pain and it gives these euphoric side effects. Mm -hmm. What else happens with it? Okay, so there can be tooth decay. There can be. Is it addictive, or is it something they can? Just oh like my gosh! Pick up and put no, down? no, highly addictive, and we can okay. talk about how to deal with an addiction afterwards. Remind yeah. me too. Uh, tooth decay, um, listlessness, um, withdrawn. Um, it's really easy to to over to overdose. Um, Probably actually because now that I'm thinking about it, if they're drinking it and they're so relaxed and it tastes so good, mm -hmm. they probably just keep drinking it. Of not course, realizing, they're not like, realizing how high they're getting. Yeah, yeah, and especially because it takes 30 minutes, so you just drink wow. and drink and drink, and if you really don't know what you're doing, that's really scary. Yeah, you've got to talk about this with your yeah kids. memory loss. Um, and it's interesting because a lot of kids that have ap academic issues use this. But then it's only going to make it worse, worse because then their memory and so well. But that's the vicious cycle. Yeah, drugs. exactly. So it makes you listless. There's anhedonia. Anhedonia means just like a lack of interest in things that you're normally interested in. Yeah. Um, headaches, blurred vision, dizziness, nausea, UTIs, which I found to be very interesting. Really interesting that it causes a urinary yeah. tract infection, but it makes sense because I know that's very Going high to the yeast. liver yeah. and the kidneys. Um, so your breathing slows, which is a bit of an issue to say the least. Um, and in addition, you get this irregular heartbeat. A lot of times the, the heart will go down, the pulse will go down, it will go too low. can cause coma, can cause death, seizures, etc. Yeah. It is not something that you want to do. So this sounds awful. Yes. This does not sound fun. No, this does not sound Especially fun. Especially when there's no control over it. 
Well, and you these know? are teens, so they don't, you know. I mean, they're not all teens. Obviously, they're adults, too. And I'm not yeah. a doctor. I have to say this every time. Legally and ethically, as a marriage and family therapist, Neither I am doctors. not a doctor. But we're moms. She's not a doctor. And moms, a lot of the time, no more. So I'm just <laughs> trying to explain to you what I know of the mechanism, yeah. but I am not a doctor. So talk to your doctor. So it was interesting because I read that the syrup, right? Mm -hmm. So they're going to mix the cough syrup mm -hmm. with codeine in it. It has to be a codeine cough and syrup. And the promethazine. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> with soda. Mm -hmm. And then they put in a, a hard, candy. hard candy or a gummy some jelly worm or some worms, worms. Gummy worms. And they drink this. That codeine then goes through your liver, turns into morphine. Mm -hmm. Then that binds to all your nerve endings, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So you feel no pain. Mm -hmm. That's where the euphoria comes from. Then from there, it shoots up to our brain, brain stem, stem, which then can slow down your breathing and or you can forget to breathe, which is a bit of a problem because yeah. then you die. And you die. It's um, over. Yeah. It's and over. that's scary. So this is not really a joke. No. Oh, this is not very this is, serious. This is bad as, you know, the glue sniffing that they do down in Brazil or wherever. How no, they all not sniff the glue. Brazil. <laughs> it's called Brazil, you baby. Always make fun of Brazil. <laughs> We're going to buy some bras in Brazil. Um, but yes, it but is. it's not just in Brazil. <laughs> it's everywhere. Sorry. They're sniffing glue everywhere. Oh, you do like, realize on that. On Wilshire, too. On Wilshire. <laughs> They're doing it on Wilshire Boulevard, too. Wilshire. She gets mad because I say Wilshire. It's not from But that's how Paris. it's spelled. Yeah, I know. Wait, that's, that's how it's spelled. <laughs> Wilshire. Wilshire Boulevard. Anyways, anyway, back to lean. Back to lean. Yes, we are still, people are still snorting um, glue because, you know, you can get it at your primary school. But that's so addictive and, like, kills your brain, too. Yeah. Same with these well, things, all these, you know? They, they I want to get a hold of these people and say, let's just fix your inner child so you don't want to hurt yourself anymore. Well, there's so much to it. There's I know. Okay, so nature. what are the signs? What are we looking for in our kids okay, or our family so members? If we're looking for family members, kids, friends, whatever, we're going to look for empty foam cups because yeah. that's what they're drinking it in. We're going to look for bottles of proud mouthazine. Hopefully I'm saying it's just cough right. syrups. Or any sort With of cough syrup, codeine, codeine whatever. But it's got to have that promethazine. It's the but I think combination. They do. I don't know because I'm not a doctor. We're not I doctors think, or a pharmacologist. Um, you're going to have no motivation. You're going to have probably always looking to the eyes of somebody if you know them well enough. You will see that their pupils are dilated most yeah. likely when they are high. Yeah. And so always look into their eyes. Um, they're going to have no motiva motivation or lack of motivation. Very tired. Tired, listless. They're, like I said before, anhedonia. So a lack of interest in things that you normally love. So I'm a pickleball player. Kind of embarrassing to admit. Because oh, it's stop such it. It's an, it's it's so it's an ugly name. I you love name pickleball. something pickleball. I like Anyways, pickles, so I don't mind. It's named after a dog that was named Pickles. But anyway, so... <laughs> Um, clearly we need to change the name, but I guess that's not happening. So anyway, so, so it would be like with me all of a sudden, I don't want to play pickleball cause I'm just, blah. Right. um, okay. So changes in appearance. This is one that sounds that's a, a little one. frightening to me. I don't know what that looks like. Does that look like a meth addict where, well, they do have tooth decay. So probably their teeth start to fall out if they do it for too long. Yeah. Frequent trips to the bathroom, which makes sense cause your kidneys are trying to get that out of there. Uh, we talked about memory, memory. and redness, redness on the arms and the chest and the, what else? The neck. The upper neck because your body's, your blood is trying to circulate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's not, mm -hmm. it's just too slow. It's not happening. And exactly. Brain damage, brain damage seizure, seizures, yeah. coma, so, and you know, death. This is a pretty important thing. It you know, is. To talk to your it children is. about, to be aware of as yes. mothers, as parents, as dads, mm -hmm. as uncles, mm -hmm. as grandparents, yeah. whatever. Um, this is really important Always. to know. These kids are doing it. Mm -hmm. They don't realize what they're doing to themselves. They just think, oh, wow, this superstar is doing it. Or this NBA. This rapper, oh, Lil Wayne. Look, they felt, quite popular. they felt no pain. Yeah. And you don't feel pain. Let's talk about this in a and deeper level. And the reality level. is, but hold on. The reality yes. is, too, with all these rappers and superstars, a lot of them have a lot of people around them. Well, of course, of course. These high school kids don't have anyone monitoring or looking at what's no, going on. But then Michael and Jackson had scary. a full time doctor and he still died. But um, well, did he? Well, the doctor was talking to his girlfriend. But anyway, he was on the phone when he was supposed to be monitoring him. It's not funny, but you know, I have some issues with Michael Jackson. I think him and Tupac might still be alive somewhere. I think you're high. Um, anyways, <laughs> so so when we talk about addiction. 
um, it, as far as treating the, this addiction, if you become dependent on it, uh, you really need to go inpatient. Right. You need to go. You need Fast. to go inpatient and get treatment. They're going to use. You need a therapist. You need. You need family support. Call a counseling can. center. You know what? Even go straight to the ER, urgent care, of and say, course. "Look, this is what's going on. We well, need you help." Might have now. to go because your your breathing is slowed down. But yeah. then what they're going to do when you go into rehab is they are going to use opiates to bring you down slowly. So if you just go completely cold turkey on opiates, you can die. So okay. um, so they're going to give you so a little. If your bit child of- has been doing this for a while. You cannot just stop. You have yeah, to get them help. They there's a very high chance of dying or seizures or whatever. So you need, so what they'll do is they'll give you a little bit of methadone or suboxone and that then they can bring it down lower and lower and lower yeah. and try to get you better. Some people are on methadone the rest of their lives and I don't know, they seem to live. I, I, See, that's why we want to catch this years. now. Like the first time they come home from a party and say, look, this is what could happen to you. Mm-hmm. You if know, they tell knowledge you. is power, power. You've mm-hmm. got to, but even asking, you know, but you've got, a big fan well, of like keeping that conversation oh, going. Oh, for sure. Talk to you them. have to be In a so non-threatening open. way. You Just, have to, you have to say, you can always come to me. If you, yeah. I don't care if you, if you, if you drank and drove, drank and drove, drink and drive, drink and drive. If you drink and drive, please just be honest. Don't do it. But if you yeah. do, please be honest with me. Whatever I've always drugs told mine, you're on, like, call me. I'll come pick you up wherever anytime, you are. Anytime, any time in the night. My dad actually anywhere. did that once. My he dad did. actually had to Picked call me up? once. No, oh. he was so hammered. He called me. <laughs> oh, it's the opposite. Okay, <laughs> but I am, you know, that way. Like, don't don't waste your time. I'll drive. If I need to drive several of hours. Course. I'll come and I'll no. you. No, and so. you want to have this open conversation. I had a very open yeah. relationship with my mom, and and still do, where I could say, "Mom, I did something bad. Help yeah. me." And that's, that's what you want. Thing. Yeah, that's we, what just you stop want. these kids. We don't want to see. You know them hurting down the road and and going down that rabbit hole, mm-hmm. especially when we know about it. So we want to encourage you guys because this is such a new drug. Share your stories here if you've heard about it. Mm-hmm. If you have other tips and signs to look for. Mm-hmm. If you've experienced it with your family on some level, family, friends, whatever. It's you're not alone. It's out there. It's hitting a lot of people. So please share your story with us so that we can really help other people learn about this and not do it. Nip it in the bud. Mm-hmm. You know. Or if you do it, get rid of it fast. Yeah. Don't do scissor up. Scissor. <laughs> scissor. 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 It's All right. Not good. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys. Good happy birthday. Happy birthday, Dawn. I love you. Happy love birthday. You, love we'll you. see you guys soon. Have a